All right, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're enjoying your solar projects. Uh, today, I kind of want to do another load test, but I want it to be a little more practical. So stick around and let's see if it actually works. So if you watched my last video, you saw that I had gone through and I had tried to really kick up a bunch of different loads and really push the system to overload, really. <laughs> and we were able to do that several times. And if you got to the very end of the video, I had put in something at the end that said that I was going to try and see how long I could push the system and kind of keep it at those higher levels. Well, the more I started thinking about it, I realized a lot of these heating element style appliances, you know, the oven, the stove, the dryer, that kind of stuff, they cycle on and off. They don't remain on because they get up to a certain temperature and then they turn off and then they turn back on and then they turn back off. So I thought, you know, it's gonna be very difficult to try to hold and maintain any one of these different devices at full power, basically. So I thought, okay, let's let's change it up a little bit and let's make it a little more practical. So I went through this morning and I did a load of laundry in the washing machine and it's ready to go into the dryer and it's, you know, almost two o'clock. My stomach's getting kind of noisy. So I thought, well, okay, let's let's move the clothes from the washer into the dryer and fire that up. And then let's also throw some food in the oven and make some lunch. So I kind of want to see, can this system, can these two Victron Multi Plus 2 5 KVA inverters maintain the dryer and the oven at the same time? Now I'll go through, because I know if the water heater kicks on, if the well kicks on, it'll throw an overload. overload. But so I will turn those off. But for the rest of the house, I'm just going to leave it as is. We've got our screen recording going right now. We've got 389, just under 400 watt load. We will start the dryer now. And that jumps us up to 5.9. It leveled out 5.75 kilowatts. And we're going to make some fish sticks. <laughs> Normally I do this in the Instapot because the air fryer is just so much better. But this pulls a whole lot larger load. So we're looking at 5.63 leveled out. And we need to turn the oven on to 425. And preheat. So again, just trying to do something that you might end up doing in your house. Oven just kicked on, overload light is blinking on the inverter, and we're just around 9 kilowatts between the dryer and the stove. So we're 4.28 on leg 1 and 4.6 on leg 2. That's not bad at all. I'm trying to be good because I really don't want to... Well... What if I wanted to make some tea as well? I don't drink tea, but what if I wanted to? Would it be able to maintain the load? Eh, let's find out. Eight point eight kilowatts. Let's try it on low and just see what it does. It pushes it up to 10 kilowatts. We still just have the blinking light, the warning light. We're not getting an actual overload yet. But we are holding right at 10 kilowatts. And so you're seeing right now that fluctuation 
of the burner turning on and off. Now, as long as we don't have anything extra, like the fridge kick on. See, now something just looks like a couple something's turned off, so it dropped back down to 7.5. That's still going. So let's, let's leave it and see, can we get through this, you know, lunch break. <laughs> the inverters are both blinking, overload. And if we look at the MultiPlus manual here, the overload pre-alarm is the blinking overload light. Nominal output of the inverters exceeded. Perfect timing, it's all done. Nice golden brown. So I know this wasn't really a technical test, but it, it was a real world test. We have the dryer and the oven and the stove top running all at the same time. Now granted, we had one burner running and everything cycles on and off, but it could still handle it. And on top of that, we had all the loads that are normally running in the house. I had all my computers running in my office, you know, the lights, the fans, and different rooms, all that kind of stuff. That, that normal loads, the fridge, that's all running. We were able to dry a load of laundry and cook some lunch at the same time. A lot of the different tests and things that I do on, on this channel end up being as a result of real world testing. Well, how does it work? How does, how does it react when you're trying to do fill in the blank? And so this was just another, another idea that came to mind kind of twofold, you know, wanting to see if it would work and I was hungry. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go eat some lunch and I'm gonna let y'all go. So y'all stay safe, stay cool, and we'll catch up with you later.